Alright, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Limbo. We found ourselves in a very, very industrial um, aesthetic location with gears, giant, giant gears and conveyor belts and, and everything. But, uh, we find ourselves at a button with an electrified floor panel ahead. So, let's see what the button does. It makes that thing go away, and I can't catch it. So, what do I... how do I get across this? I bet I have to start this swinging. As you may have figured, momentum actually kind of plays a big part in the mechanics of um, Limbo. And that's how I get across. That's interesting. Giant giant ass gear thing, and a pit. But the pit's got a slight slope to it, so let's do the pit. Oh, it's actually not that, not that deep of a pit. Alright, so what do I do? Oh, I can push this gear. That's interesting. Apparently the whole world turns upside down. Or sideways. I don't go onto the electricity. Where else do I go? Oh! Ah, what's betting if I'd been standing there that would have killed me? Uh, I'm gonna guess chances are... 100%. Another button. That does something interesting. Okay, let's use this mic. Uh, oh, oh, this is interesting. Now, this is a really interesting move way, part of the way, um, Limbo does things the way they introduce new mechanics like this. Like this, I'm pretty sure this um, floor is magnetic because if you notice, both the light and the box are being drawn to it. So if I turn it off, yep. So if I push this all the way up and then rush back before it slides down, I now have a launching platform. First of all, let's make sure it's... yes. Alright. I can get to the ladder from this box. Sweet. So now, what that allows me to do is this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want the box to be a little bit closer to the ladder. Like that. And I don't get squished, but that also means I'm not going back that way at all. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Okay, can't climb, can't climb over that box, because there's a blade in the way, and that floor is electrified, and can't reach this chain either, well that's interesting. So let's use the box, 
Engage the chain. I have a funny feeling the world's about to get uh, turned upside down. Hey, would you look at that? So let's stay on the chain away from the saw blade. all kinds of saw blades here. This is gonna be fun. Geronimo! Hey, it worked. Listen to how the sound has changed. And how the music, the ambient music, is telling a very different story now than it was just a few seconds ago. That's the beautiful thing about how this game tells its stories. There's a ball in a pit. Which means it's probably going to try and kill me at some point. And I think we all know what these levers do at this point. is going to fall on my head. <sighs> Listen to how muffled everything sounds right now. You didn't hear that fall rolling. Like, you, you heard them rolling through the entire game. You didn't hear this door clank down. Suddenly, everything is very muffled and distant sounding. And we've just got this ambient music. And a light of a butterfly. We've seen that butterfly before. We saw it by the spider. I wonder if our, our friend the spider is going to come back. Seems like we're returning to nature at the moment. Hello. Who's this? The last people we saw tried to kill us. Who are you? Ah! Ah! Where did you come from? No! 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 Somebody who's not trying to kill us. Thing. I want to go back to her. Whoever she is. She's not trying to kill us. That's so that's a good thing. We don't like the light, I know. So let's yeah, let's go this way. This this way's good. This way has that girl. And listen to how you hear that sound. The girl's not here anymore. And the sound of the industry returns. Listen to how well they do this. So there was a ladder back there. I'm going to try and, and get to the ladder. 
which requires some interesting maneuvering and not falling down pits like I just did. How interesting was that? That we saw that little girl, um, neck, like at the top of the hill in the sun. But we were prevented from getting to her. And then when we tried to go back, she wasn't there anymore. Look, it's another one of those glowy egg things. I think, I could be wrong, but I think we've just gone complete circle. Yep, we did. Complete circle. So how do we get up to that ladder? Can't jump that far. This lever must... Something like this. Now, how do we get up... Oh, I get it. We gotta do a, again a case of timing. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't like it. It takes a while for them to stop moving. So let's let it get some momentum going. Like I said, momentum actually plays a huge part in the mechanics of the boat. So, by, because the gears took a while to stop turning, I was able to ride that gear up to the ladder. And then this gear is going in the right direction so that I can get up here and not get squished. that we used to break through the glass the first time. Minecart, interesting. What do you want to bet we're going to fall from that lever onto this level here? So let's put the minecart underneath so it's available for us. a case of timing if ever there was one. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm going to push you all the way up here so we can get up to here. And then when the timing is just right. Jump up to here. The turn allows us to jump. Not quite. Ah! Alright. Fortunately, the electricity cut out just before I landed. So I didn't die. that wrong. I, I did that way too early. Yes. See what I mean about momentum being a huge, a huge part of the gameplay. Back a little bit this way. There we go.
Ah, not quite. Come on. All right. Oh, all right. Needs to be further to the right later than what I've been letting it do. Ha-ha! Oh, hey, there's that lever in that minecart, so... Let's see... Where we go, and this does not look promising. See a ladder and a platform, what's betting I need that? <laughs> that was that was a fluke. Well, that's gonna knock me off. Oh, lovely! I think I remember this one. This one is a major pain in the ass to try and do. I might have to cut a few of my attempts here. Because you really have to jump at just the right time, but it, you have to get far enough as well, yeah. Oh, hey! <laughs> I am astounded by that. I didn't think I would be able to do that in only two tries. Wow. Because I remember that one being much harder to do the last time I played this. Okay, so mental note, don't jump into the electrified wall. At least not right away. Wow, this, uh, this one, huh? This lighting is not doing much to calm my nerves. not push it closer. Ah! Nope, that didn't work. I wonder what's up there. Or if you're just not supposed to go that way.
going down isn't an option, because we got an electrified floor. Oh! I get it! Let's use this box thing to get over the electrified floor over here. Which this light is really, really not giving me confidence. Well, that's new. Notice these little, very subtle beams of light. They seem to be protruding from these things sticking out of the ceiling and the wall. You know, this seems to vaguely remind me of a machine gun. So let's... Let's try it. Would you look at that? That's a machine gun. And it's coming after me! Crap, 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 crap. Oh, hey, I think I can use the one machine gun to get rid of the other machine gun. Because look at all this smoke that's coming out of it, right? Yep, that machine gun is gone and busted. Pleasant, pleasant world this is. It's an interesting ladder, can't get to that. Some boxes. Seriously? Anti gravity? Alright. This, I definitely remember it being a pain in the ass to figure out, but I think I remember how to do it. Use this ramp. That's how you do it. And back up the ladder. I'm pretty sure we're going to need that box again. Oh, crap. Ah. That could have killed me. Almost guaranteed that could have killed me. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. I think I see what I'm supposed to do here. Let's see if I'm right. I have to try not to be squished twice. Yep. That's what I was supposed to do. That was fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's an interesting, like, old style elevator.
Yeah, get a box. All right. Well, this is a very interesting point because it seems like we've returned to some kind of natural environment, doesn't it? Like, we get a tree with this weird kind of old school elevator. There's a box that protects me from bullets, apparently. Yeah, I'm not complaining. What's over here? That was somewhat anticlimactic. So it was that. Oh, I think I just figured this out, and it's again a momentum thing. You're supposed to use the grav versus anti grav to get the box over this little bunker thing. Like so. <laughs> that oh man if you don't have a good grasp of momentum that, that would suck to do. ah I died it that box there. I have a funny feeling I'm going to want this box. Yeah, I did it again. I sh should know better than that. Alright. Let's... Let's do this again. At least they gave you that little bunker to protect you against this box. You know, I'm just gonna leave that box there. Or actually, no, I can just bring the elevator down. Why, why didn't I think to do that before? That's silly of me. No, I don't even know if I need this box. Yep, need this box. If you look down in the bottom right of the screen, there's another one of those faint lights. There's another machine gun there that would cut me down if I tried to not have that box. Oh, there's that machine gun from earlier. Oh, hello. Can't jump that. Oh! Hello. I'm apparently anti-gravity now. Here's that box from earlier. Oh, there's the butterfly. There's the top of the elevator. I wonder, can I use this box to find that ledge there? And if I can, what's up there? Oh no, that's just... Yeah, if you look at the bottom and middle of my screen, there's that machine gun that I use the box to get past. That's it. That's actually very interesting. That is a very interesting game to can. Let's push the two of you. I haven't figured out what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure what I have to do is when that thing starts extending, I have to drop. These two like this, so I can use one to get on top of that. So I can use that to get on top of that. Haha! I did it! 
look up at the top right, how you see these branches, and how right now we've got a very interesting blend of natural and mechanical. But we've managed to get past that challenge, and we're definitely at a point where I can't go back. So let's call the episode here, because I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, I hope you join me next time, and uh, let's see what other interesting mechanics the game introduces as we go forward, alright? Talk to you later.